<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys have all been doing well. As we know, this is Heart to Heart with Harriet, where I talk to you guys about all things health, healing, and well being. Mm. And today we have Ben here with us again. Yeah. Um, he's not a new face, he's been here before. You guys already know him. But yes. Do they know? Do they? Yeah. Welcome nah, back. I'm happy to be back, guys. I've just been a little bit busy, but yeah, it's always good to be back. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, today we're going to be talking to you guys about the topic of character. So, our character, um, bad and good character traits, the importance of having and maintaining a good character, and what it might look like sometimes when a character isn't, you know, the best. So I guess also what the Word of God says, yeah, what the Word of God says about um, our characters and how we're supposed to keep ourselves mm -hmm. so yeah so yeah we'll get right into it and i'll just go through the questions and we'll see what insights we get out of the video yeah all right awesome so first question so um in your own words mm. define um character so just in your own terms mm. what you see as like character or like character of an individual oh, okay um a character to put a plain side is basically who you are Mm -hmm. as a person yeah but if we have to go in more into detail to kind of find a character of a person i'll mm -hmm. say uh how a person act how a person feels and how a person basically behaves around people yeah all of that can bring your character out without you even knowing yeah 100 percent. so yeah for me it's just really like your morals your mm -hmm. like you're saying your morals your behaviors the way you choose to treat people the way you choose to like act or like in, in your relationships how you behave pretty mm. much everything you said yeah um just who you are like who you are in your core mm. as an individual who you really are because mm. i feel like sometimes we can portray a certain look we can mm. try to put out a certain character mm. or put out certain character traits mm. of what we would like people to see but it doesn't always mean that that is your actual character and who you really are mm. so i think your character is who you are at your core, who you are as an individual, and what actually comes out without anybody, like without you trying too hard. So I think sometimes, um, even though people try to put out, oh, this is who I am, but we actually see who you really are without you doing, without you putting it out kind of thing. Like hmm. when no one else is looking or when um, you're, you're, I guess when you're caught off guard or something as well, like hmm. it just comes out like who you are, you can never really hide it for very yeah. long. Going into the next question, so it's mm -hmm. similar to some of the things I've already discussed, mm -hmm. but um, what would you say good character traits are, and then what are some bad ones as well? Um, good character traits. Yeah. Um, basically, I'll go to um, being honest mm -hmm. will be a good one. Um, being able to kind of recognize when you're wrong and actually admit it. Yeah. Um, being also going back on who you are as a person actually uh, working on things that you think are bad in your life yeah that's a good character trait as well and um i'll say just being truthful as well not to go all into everything but also bad one will be the opposite of basically all the stuff that i said mm -hmm. but also yeah so i'll just say the opposite of what i said yeah no, hundred percent. I agree as well. I think definitely, like let's say for example, um, mm. like when we were dating, and when you're like looking at a person, mm. so like the things that you desired, mm. um, when you obviously like met them, or things that you look for in a person, mm. character traits that you desire. So, like you said for me, so honesty and in, mm. like integrity, like being transparent, trustworthiness, being reliable. Mm. So someone that you can like trust with your stuff, trust with. Like you, you know that if you tell them things, they're gonna understand you. Like they're gonna get you. Not being selfish, because obviously mm -hmm. like the opposite of selfishness is like being like a giver mm -hmm. or being like a servant, someone that's um caring and loving. Mm -hmm. So pretty much like the fruits of the spirit, really. Like yeah. uh, love, kindness, patience. Like I guess those are all good character traits to have. And I'm not saying that everybody has like all of them, because like for me, for example, I'm someone that can be a bit impatient. Mm -hmm. So. That's something that I have to work on because mm. I, know that, I know that's not a very good character trait where like, you can just actually just wait sometimes, not every day, rush, 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 and quick, 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 quick. Yeah. So that's like a character trait that I work on because I know that it's something that I need to, you know, be get better at. 
So yeah, those are just some obviously some examples. There's there's like a question that I had as well. Um where you know, is there a good or bad uh trait yeah. that you can say that or it's good at times yeah. or stuff like that? Because for example, like you said, you're not you're not patient. Yeah. So yes, in some uh circumstance that can be bad, mm -hmm. but in some circumstance it can also be good. Mm -hmm. So that's why is there any bad one that you can say is good at some time and some good one that you can be like, Oh, I'm not sure if it's good at some time. That's a good question actually. Yeah. Because I guess sometimes, let's say, for example, when it comes to honesty, right? Mm. If you have a situation where you have to be honest about um, something, I was mm. talking about this with somebody last time, mm. and, like, you know how sometimes I can be too honest? Mm. And I'll just say things without thinking and without realizing, okay, how is it going to make this person feel if I mm. say it? So now, these days, I've started really thinking about, okay, before I say it, before I be honest, because I can be very blunt and I just say things, before I want to decide to be honest, because I think honesty is, you know, a good character trait to have, how is it going to make this person feel? Mm. Although, although like, I know it needs to be said and it's, you know, they need to hear it, mm. it doesn't mean that you have to say it right there and then. Mm. Even how you say it sometimes it matters as well, because how you make them feel at the end of the day is going to be what determines the outcome of the situation. Yeah. So I think that's a, that's one that can be, I guess, I'm not saying it's a bad one, but it's something that you kind of have to watch. Yeah. Like you have to think about the way. When you let it out. Yeah. When you let it out, how you're going to let it out as well. Yeah. I'm going to be honest because you can hurt people as well. Yeah. If they don't get it, even though in your heart, your intentions is to really, oh, I just want to be honest, I want to be transparent, mm. it's not the issue. Mm. But sometimes it's like, okay, depending on what it is and how you want to say it. Yeah, that's, there's a story that I listened to last time that give a good example of that. Like, um, one of, imagine going to watch a friend yeah. play a game or whatever, yeah. and they play really bad. They're horrible. Basically, the worst things you've no. seen. Yeah. But then, straight after their game, with them still in uniform, so happy about their performance, yeah. they come to you and ask you, how do you think I went? Some people, like you... You'll probably be like, away. you're so bad. <laughs> what? Uh, this and that. But at the same time, you don't have to lie. Yeah. You, It's not the time to tell them that they were bad in that moment yeah. because of their hype and how happy they are. Yeah. You can let them know uh, the the way the guy put it. It's like, you can be like, oh, I'm, I'm really happy to come and actually watch you uh, to be invited to something like this. I really loved it. Yeah. And all of that is true. But then later on, when they've calmed down, when everything is good and you're in a different environment, mm -hmm. you can be like, can I actually tell you what I thought about that day? Then you can, you know, they're willing to take on that information now. But sometimes we kind of let it out because of how we're feeling in that I moment. Think, so. But I also think sometimes people need to learn to hear, like, the honest truth. It, it's because not lying, though. I had your bad and you need to hear it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like this is another thing. That's yeah. the other side of that, where it's like, you can keep telling someone, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, you're okay, okay, but it's like they're actually not doing good. And no, but you're, you're there feeding them. You know how they say good friends are friends that actually tell you like mm -hmm. what it is because mm -hmm. they want the best for you. They want to see better. But like I agree with what you said with how you say it and when you say it. It's important. Yeah, it's, it's not how you say it, it's yeah. when you say it because yeah. they're all happy and like so pumped that yeah. they played. But if you just come and crash them down, yeah. they're devastated in that moment. Mm -hmm. But if you tell them it's true that you are happy to come and watch them play, it's true that the environment was all good, yeah. that's all true. Yeah. But then later when they all calm down and everything, you can be like, this is what I thought about it. Yeah. They're ready to take on that information. You don't have to sugarcoat it then because yeah. they're ready to take it on. Yeah. But if you're a person that you want to say it right there and then, you don't care about their feeling there. You don't care how they... Not that think. you care about the feelings. I think it depends on what you see as important. Like, Because if you're coming... For me, from my perspective, whenever I say things like that, it's not that I don't care about your feelings. Mm. It's more that I just want the best for you and I'm going for that more than anything else. Yeah, but... In that, my mind, yeah. my, my intention is just... Mm, yeah, like you can be better. Like, that's yeah, my but, intention. But that's what I... <laughs> you're, you're, no, you're you're just bad. You're just such a bad player. No. No, but yeah, what I'm saying is, yeah. what I'm saying is, is it is it still like you saying it then and saying it later? Would it make a difference? Yeah, it would actually. Why? <laughs> because sometimes I need to hear it at the spot. So to so take the joy away. What if I don't see them? But your friends, so you obviously see them. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
anyway, so yeah, so next question. So mm. so yeah, obviously guys, there's quite a lot of um good character traits and bad character traits. Don't know what the bad ones are and the good ones are, but um it's a matter of recognizing, okay, which ones are actually good in me and which ones are probably not the best and I need to work on them. Yeah. So, yeah. There's um if you look in the Bible, there's two character traits that I actually I look at and they actually touch me a lot. Like um the story of uh Judas. Mm-hmm. When you think about that, Judas was with Jesus the whole time mm-hmm. and with the whole disciple, all of them were showing their uh character traits to Jesus. Yeah. But Judas was pretending the whole time. Yeah. All he was there for was basically the money. So he was putting on the facade of Oh, I'm this person and I'm that and this. And then later on, he ended up betraying Jesus for a couple of coins. But then on the other hand, the good character trait that I kind of see in the Bible is of uh, Job. When you look at the life of Job, from the beginning, he was the same. And then when, and when everything changed and the enemy took everything away from him, he still remained the same. So sometimes, the only way you'll see the true character of the person is when they're going through a hard time. If they remain the same, then that's who they are. But if things are going hard and then all of a sudden they change to something else, you're like, oh, so this is who you were from the start. So sometimes we have to look at that just because things are good and this person is all smiley and then things go bad and you see them snap, that doesn't mean, you know, yeah. So that actually takes me on to the next question, which mm. is, what builds good character? Ooh. So um, it's a good it's a it's, it's a good um fact that you brought that up because I know for sure, like you said, mm. every time we go through something really tough, mm. it's actually a good determining factor of like our character traits and what they really are like. Yeah. So Judas got put through a situation where he got tested. You know, it was like, are you gonna are you gonna betray or are you gonna like look like look after or really be there for the person that you said you've been following and mm-hmm. is your master. Are you, what are you going to do? And he decided, no, nope, I want the money. Yeah. Sometimes like greed, <laughs> greed, there for the money. You know, greed takes us away yeah. from actually even having a good character. And then um, with Job as well, mm. how all the harm and the, the horrible things that were inflicted onto him, mm. he could have literally, he had that right, like he could have been, he had the right to be angry, he had the right to be upset. And obviously, if you read the book, it also talks about how he really was um, also feeling it because who's not going to feel it when you're going through no. tough times it's not easy right mm. and he had the right to complain to to be upset to be angry to he had the right mm. but he decided no i'm going to maintain a good character mm. i'm going to love on god i'm going to say god you look after everything you control everything even if you know you take um if, if my family gets taken away my all my life savings, everything I have gets taken away, I'm going to still maintain. Do you know how hard that is? Like, mm-hmm. that is not easy. And I think yeah. I don't find it. Yeah. I find it so difficult. Like, I've been complaining because mm-hmm. like, I work so hard for these things. How are they just going to be taken away like that, you know? Yeah. And I think sometimes our, um, in, in regards to how we maintain or build good characters, mm. it's really actually through the tough times that we we actually maintain and build good character. Yeah. Um, Romans chapter 5, verse 3 and 4, it says, you know, um, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that that suffering produces perseverance, Mm. perseverance character, and character hope. Mm. It's crazy that it's through the tough (laughs) times that, it's only through the tough times that our character is built because why does it have to be through the tough times? So why can't we just, I think when when we're going through like, when everything is great, you're not thinking about, oh, Uh, I need to be a good person, I need to be a good person, you're not thinking about that. It's when the the, the time is is hard, it's difficult, that's when you want to be okay, yeah, like let me actually practice what I've been doing. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. And like you said, hard times. Sometimes we don't realize like when we're going through that hard time, yeah. we tend to work on it in a way of, or uh, if it's, like, for example, if we have an argument, all of that, yeah. and in that hard time, we're arguing all of that, yeah. but you're someone that is not good at forgiving, or you're someone that is not good at apologizing and stuff yeah. like that, yeah. during that time, you have to work on that. Yeah. You have to get to an area that you actually have to be like, okay, I forgive you, yeah. or I apologize and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you only realize that after the whole situation, you're like, wow. I actually grown from where I was. I can actually apologize now and all of that. Like when the the job situation yeah. is so hard for you to like job character was fully towards God. 
And imagine that person turning their back on you, yeah. but yet still your character remains the same. That that brings me back to you know how when I'm, whenever we're having a conversation, I'm like, um, basically for me, I'm building my character to be the best version of myself for you. Yeah. But at the same time, if God forbid, obviously, if something was to happen and you were to leave, my character would still remain the same because yeah. I I build it up to a level that is so good. Yeah. Regardless you're there, regardless you're not there, I'm doing it to the best of who I am, you know? So mm -hmm. when, yeah, sorry. when job loss, when God turned his back on job completely, you saw even though God was there or God wasn't there, Job's character remained the same because he loved God that much, mm -hmm. you know? It didn't change. So sometimes the hard times may come, yeah. you will build that character and it's, it's for the better of your future, basically. It gets better. You're never perfect. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's not to say my character is the best in the world, but it would, I can say, I don't know, I can't say it will be the best. I, it's always something that you can work on. Yeah. You're always, and, that's, and that's the thing, it's always important to be improving our characters. Yeah. I think um, there's a saying that goes, you know, um, with a diamond, right? Mm. Um, when, it, when you have a diamond, for it to actually, um, like look, it's like look like it's beautiful form, like the shiny, nice, beautiful form when we wear it. It has to go through refining. It has to go through a process of like being burnt, refined, mm. and then once it's refined, then it, the shininess comes out. Sometimes for us, if we want to produce the diamonds in our characters, mm. we have to go through the fire. We have to go through the 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 difficult times, the tough times, the testing, like mm. situations where, for example, we're put to now, or oh, you have to forgive someone. Mm. Are you forgiveness, or you're gonna say, mm. to God, like, yeah, just help me to forgive. Or when you're put in a situation where, um, like somebody is uh ahead of you mm. when for example you were supposed to be in, in 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 a role or something like that what are you going to do about it how is your character mm. how are you going to portray what character are you going to put out are you gonna, yeah. it's all the anger the negative there was a book i read i was talking about how whatever comes out of you is just something that's already in you mm. whatever feels whatever if any anger any grudges any that's already there like it's not like it's something that wasn't there in the first place right so it's like when these things are coming up, God is just saying, "Yeah, you need to fix that. You need to work on that mm -hmm. because it's just there, but you haven't you haven't actually tapped into working on it yet or dealing with those with those issues." Kind yeah. Of yeah. But at the same time, like that that's true in some uh, areas. But to say when you get angry, it's always it's mm -hmm. been there. Like if someone comes and slap you today, obviously anger is gonna come out because that's a natural um, thing. Yeah you remaining in that anger and doing something after that then that's when you can say that but like some some things can happen because of how people react like for example if you work hard yeah. and you don't get what you deserve yeah. you're going to be angry in that moment yeah. at the character that you bring out after that's what anger is a, yeah about so at the end of the day how you react mm. is part of your character yeah. like, yeah. Yes. Yes, you're allowed to get angry. You're, mm. It's fair that you're angry, mm -hmm. but like yeah. at the end of the day, what is it going to achieve? You can be upset. You can be angry, but it's like the Bible says, "Don't let the sun go down mm -hmm. while you're still angry." So you have to now get out of that because you can't allow that emotion yeah. to control you I think, and then take over you, kind of thing. I think, um, like I get what you mean there, because some people they will work really hard for a position or something, yeah. and then if they don't get that, some for some reason, they're like, oh, I'm not doing this again, yeah. or oh, yeah. I'm not being nice to these people. Yeah. At the end, that's not who you were at the start. You are doing it for a purpose. Yeah. But if that's who you are, even if you didn't get the position, you will be angry, but then after that, nothing will change with how you treat everyone else. Yeah, so, sure. definitely. So, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, we talked about um, how how we can build good character. So, I guess, obviously, through the tough times, the things that we go through, we know that we can do it a good character in that way. And also, I think even just being intentional, hmm. like building good character. So if you know, for example, obviously with us, we know, um, let's say, for example, we have an argument or something, hmm. knowing that, okay, we have to try to solve it and we have hmm. to try to not hold grudges or get angry hmm. and, and move on from it and hmm. work on the issues kind of thing. So like that's a part of like helping us really build. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so... Next question, guys. Moving on to the next question. It's similar to kind of stuff we've discussed already as well. Mm. But like, how do we maintain good character? 
So how do we make sure, like let's say for example, let's let's take let's take the character trait of um, greed, but that's not really like we can discuss it. But mm. I know because you're you're a very giving person. But let's say let's say an individual is like like greedy or something, right? Mm. Um, how do we if if you're working one not being greedy and being like more giving, mm. more, like selfless, mm. how do we maintain that? Um, it's just an example. Yeah, for me, uh, with that example, I'll say uh, practice makes perfect. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you're not good at something, just practice it. Yeah. You don't have to start at the biggest. You can start at something small. Yeah. You can start with the smallest things, and the more that you do it, you will start to understand. Or sometimes, even putting yourself in someone else's shoe will help you to understand why doing that thing is actually good. So, like, if if someone gives you something all the time, or if, if you if you meet a given person yeah. and they give you something, yeah. you put yourself in their shoe as in as in a way of how do they feel when they're giving you that. Or even when you're in your shoe, how do you feel when someone gives you something? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you feel really good. Yeah. So, would you not want someone else to feel that good as well? So, yeah. but at the same time, like working, maintaining our character, I'll say um, the best one that works for me a lot is like what we normally do every year. You know how people New Year goals and type of thing. How we sit there and we write, or oh, did we accomplish this and this? So I kind of do that to myself, whereby I sit there, I'm like, oh, this and this and this. Yeah. Am I getting better at it? Yeah. My characters, uh, this and that. Not only see people telling you about your bad character, this and that. Yeah. Sometimes it may be, it may hurt you in that moment, but I kind of take it on board as, okay, this is what I need to work on yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So definitely be being willing to actually get the negative feedback as well. And Take it off. I start go by and then work on the next year, and then look look towards it again. Debrief your own character. Yeah. That definitely, I think that's what kind of that's a good maintaining um thing. Yeah, for sure, that's definitely good. I think self reflection, mm-hmm. self like awareness. Okay, so even if you don't see it, but mm-hmm. other people are seeing yep. it, tell you okay, like what you actually do. Like for example, like one example for me is mm-hmm. me watching my mom because sometimes my mom can just be running so I'll just say things <laughs> without thinking because I'm I'm thinking from in my heart yeah but I don't mean it like that I'm just yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to so me thinking that okay yeah like maybe I need to think about how I say it and what I said before I say it because mm. like like you guys know if you know I can be a bit blunt sometimes so the mm. things I say can come out as if like I'm trying to like hurt you but I'm really not like it mm. might be so far away from trying to hurt you mm. so like now watching that and thinking okay before I say it, what am I what am I about to say? Because honestly, sometimes I don't get it. Like I don't get how people are taking <laughs> it the wrong way. But I'm just like I'm really anyway. So now watching, thinking, okay, like well, how are you saying it? Why are you saying it? And how is it going to make the person feel? Kind of thing. Mm. Um, thinking about stuff like that. Um, and I guess another way, like you're saying, that can help us maintain good character is really praying about our characters, even like mm. about, like. Like listening to the Holy Spirit, God, what what character traits in me are actually like probably not the best, and I could work like I could probably work on mm. improve or be better. Because I think all the time, Holy Spirit always like literally pointing at things at us. Literally every time we do something or how we react about something, mm. Holy Spirit will be like, oh, should you have done that, or mm. should you have done that a bit better, or you know. So listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit to warn us and to tell us, I think when we decide not to listen mm. to the Holy Spirit. Like, mm. Yeah, like then that's when we often get ourselves into trouble. Yeah, and the Bible also says it's so Corinthians chapter fifteen to thirty three. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So bad company corrupts good character. So who you are around, the people that you hang around, they're gonna also be a determining factor of your character and your traits that you 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 begin to also possess or live out because. Often we get influenced by our friends and the things that our friends do, how our friends talk, the things mm. they say. So we start to also, you know, speak the same language and say the same things. It's just, it's just like a given. It's just a normal thing. Mm. So we think about, okay, if we want good character traits, are we going to now be around people who don't probably have the best character traits? No. Yeah. We have to think about that. We have to think about who we're around, where we're around, what we listen to, the things that we allow in us. 
um, all of that is important because it helps build our character and who we want to be. Because as human beings, I think we're just people who just we just copy and mm. we do and we say and we whatever we see, we're like, oh, that's so cool. I want to do it too, and then we just do it. So it's like if it's not a good character trait or if it's not something you know you probably wouldn't want as part of your morals and your beliefs, mm. then yeah, just think about maybe not surrounding or, or associating yourself with it. Yeah, definitely. There's um for for that area that you gave at the end. Um, I remember a while back. I think I told you about it mm. where. I'm a given person, yeah. but I used to hang around people that they would kind of strain me in that area where they will be draining everything that I have yeah. without me even realizing. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, I need this. Oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah. But it got to the area that I started becoming a bit like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Why are they taking so much from me? Yeah. And some of them, they need it. Some of them knew that I would say yes, so they'll do that. Yeah. So it got to an area that I started kind of backtracking and it started taking away from my character of mm-hmm. being a given person. Yeah. So then I had to kind of distance myself from that group. So one thing that I realized about it as well is even though we focus so much on working on the negative all the time, yeah. We don't focus on praising ourselves for the positive as well. You know, if you're someone that is not good at something yeah. and you achieve it, yeah. actually praise yourself as well or let someone else praise you. Because mm. if, if someone tells you something, oh, Harry, you're so good at this. Mm. How come even though uh, you inside, you're like, oh, I've been working on this, someone noticed, yeah. it kind of gave you that hype that you're offering. Okay, I want to do more. Yeah. And you start to kind of, work on it even more and it becomes a pattern now mm-hmm. and it, then you start maintaining it mm-hmm. but we always focus on i need to work on this it's negative negative but the positive that you do do you need to praise yourself for it as well because mm-hmm. it motivates you to even go higher as well so yeah, for yeah. sure definitely i think we definitely need to um pat ourselves on the back mm-hmm. the good things that we do do but then yeah. the bad obviously because one thing I know is someone said one time, I think it was John Bevere, he said, you know, your character mm. will be a big determining factor of whether you go far in life or you don't. Mm. If you're someone of good character, mm. you you maintain good morals. Like let's say, for example, a character trait could literally just be being reliable, right? Like if you're someone who decides, okay, when it comes to like my goals, I want to be ambitious. I want to make sure I achieve this and this and this and this. And you do it because you told yourself that you would do it. That's like something that will push you. Nobody else has to tell you. Nobody else has to force you. Even if your your family around you is saying this and this and that, you don't do it because they're saying that. You do it because in your own heart, in your mm-hmm. own mind, you've already decided I'm doing this for me and I'm going to do it because I told myself I would do it. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to let myself down. Mm. That is a character trait that will help you, that will help push you to be more successful in life because mm. you've decided. So all of these character traits, um, they all play such a big role in like determining you as an individual. And even let, let's say, for example, like in the church, um, as an individual, you you maintaining a good character means that you try your best, like your absolute best, mm. when striving for excellence to live out what God's word says. Mm. Because if you don't, then it's so easy to fall. You know, we're not saying that we have weaknesses and that we all have weaknesses. We all have things in us where um, when we're tempted, we could easily fall, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's say, for example, you're someone who maybe lies easily. Just lying is not, it's not a big deal. It just comes like that. It, it's mm-hmm. something that it's like, oh, yeah, like you kind of to cover things up. That just comes naturally, naturally. And then you'll get to the point where you lie, you lie, you lie so much, whereby now it's like, it's a bit like it's, it's taking you too far, you know, to the point of basically no return. Mm. Now, you, there's so many things you've lied about, everything ends up coming out at the end of the day. Mm. If you decide in your heart, well, we're not going to do that anymore because when a girl actually says, no, we're not supposed to be lying, you you decide you may, to maintain a good character because you want to make sure that you go far, you, you, you live life you know in purity you live life according to god's way so that you know you live life well and you're not you're not also like having to deal with all the circumstances of the traits the bad character traits that that you decide to live out kind of thing so really Mm -hmm. it's just dying to self dying to your own like earthly fleshly like desires Mm -hmm. and trying your best to really um, live according to like god's word that's kind of that brings me back to um you know character like 
when you think of a character of a woman, basically, yeah. God has already given it. Uh, Proverbs uh, 31 woman yeah. is the character a woman should have if they want to have. But then the thing about it is people think, oh, they're like, yeah, but this. Yeah, yeah but that. Yeah. If you want to be, if you want to be um, this person, mm -hmm. lying is, is a no-go. Um, doing this is a no-go. You can't say, yeah, I don't lie, but I do this. Yeah. Once you say that, your character has already yeah. been shown. So sometimes we just have to measure ourselves with kind of what God says about us, our character. Yeah measure it against what God kind of has for you yeah. and then you'll kind of see if you're going off track or if you're going the right way mm, for yeah. sure so that's a good that's a good way to end it really just measuring our character based on what God's word says about it that's the that's just the ultimate and then striving for our own personal mm. like um best with living according to his word mm. so that we can you know abstain from any of this like all the worldly like pleasures and the things that can come and tempt us and cause us to fall. Mm. Um, yeah, I think that would really help us, not even just, not with our faith, but with life in general, like living okay. our lives, the things that we do in life and how we live our life kind of thing. Mm. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Is there anything else you want to add or? No. Nah. Yeah. My character still needs work. So do all of you. Yes. Yes. But we're yes. going to keep going. Yeah, we're for gonna sure. Keep going. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, guys, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, mm. Really appreciate it. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a like. Um, share it with someone that you think, you know, would benefit from it. And mm. hopefully you learn something new, some new insights. But um, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think of it as well. Yeah. And yeah, it was good to have you here again. Guys, don't forget, once again, if there's anything that you're going through out there that you would like some insights about, yeah. do comment underneath. And we'll be happy to talk about it next time as well. Yeah, so, do yeah. some research and yeah, mm. talk about it. Yeah. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm.